back here on Longhorn Weekly and talking about uh, NCAA tournament time because it is just around the corner for the Texas women's tennis team. It, you will play in College Station and open up against the University of Houston. I asked the same question I asked Michael Center earlier in the program, although it's probably a little bit easier for you to answer the question as Michael. I asked him well, how much he knew about Marist. So... Houston, an in-state opponent. How much you know about the Cougars? Well, um, you know, we're, we're pretty lucky. We've In our section, we've played both of those teams this year, so we at least are familiar with them. Um, you know, it's, it's just like we were talking with Bree. You know, we take every match at a time. We'll, we'll look down their lineup and um, discuss lineups with the girls and get them focused on who they're going to play and, and go from there. Now, do you get the, uh, the sense of excitement from your group that, that's the next step. That's that's the next thing. You know, you've got Houston, and and if you advance, then it's either going to be Texas A&M, who's uh, seated tenth nationally, or, or Stony Brook, and we can get to that later. But just the mere fact that they're embarking on the postseason again and getting ready for the NCAA's. Yeah, there's a, a whole new sense of urgency, um, I would say, and um, our goal is really to just compete as the best that we can. Uh, I don't think that we've come anywhere close to what we're capable of, of accomplishing so far this year. Um, we have a very young team. They've learned a lot along the way. I think it was a great experience at Big 12s, even though it didn't go the way we wanted it to last week. I think it was a great learning experience for them. And, you know, fortunately, we now are going to continue down the path to the NCAAs and, and see where that leads us. You mentioned the fact that it's a young group. Uh, how much does the fact that a young group gets to play in the NCAA, it's earned its way to play into the NCAA tournament, what that says going forward uh, for this young group when they come back next year? Right. I, it, it, great things. You know, we're, we've, we also have some great leadership on our team with Elizabeth Begley and Juliana Gajic. Um, but we are young. All three of those freshmen are very experienced internationally. Uh, so they, they do bring a lot of that experience of uh, having played at that high level. Um, but this is such a new format for all three of them um, and a new situation that uh, this will feel more like a junior Grand Slam tournament for them, a Roland Garros or a Wimbledon, which, you know, they've all competed in those tournaments. So you don't um, mind if they kind of get into that mindset? No, I, I, I actually encourage that. Uh, <laughs> no, that would be a great thing. And, you know, so for now, they're going to stay a little more focused on their opponents, but have, be able to draw on those experiences a little bit more. I asked you this question a, a couple of years ago when we were talking about NCAA tournament. Or when, how much as, as a coach, and you and Daria as coaches do when you have to prepare? You mentioned you know Texas A&M pretty well, and they're playing Stony Brook. You've got to get your group focused on Houston. That's obviously the goal. Right. But how much of the prep do you and Daria go through saying, if we take care of our business and we do advance, that's probably the next opponent. Right. Well, we obviously we do a lot of work. You know, that's uh, the bulk of our time is really spent in um, knowing our opponents, knowing what they're capable of, um, helping our girls to be focused on strategies that are going to help them individually win and add up to a team win. Um, so there's a, there's a lot of behind the scenes work that's done, not only in scouting the opponents, but also in helping our girls each prepare individually. Because you know you're dealing with six eight women who all think very differently, and so you have to approach that in a completely different way. What, what might work for one won't work for another. And so there's a lot of time and energy spent into knowing um, each one of our, our players and, and knowing how to help them All perform right. at their best. Patty, best of luck. Thanks for joining us.